Now, we spoke about a lot of criticism, we spoke about a lot of issues that is there in the country, and you gave a very, you know, understandable, uh, educated, uh, not BS, uh, you gave factual um, responses, which then a, a normal person, an educated person could understand, okay, it makes sense, this, this guy, this, the government is not bullshitting people. So. <laughs> Why isn't that happening from the government per se? Uh, why is there, is, uh, there a communication error? Why is the government failing? Because this was the same with the 2015 and uh, the good governance. They couldn't tell what they were doing. Why are you all also falling into the same trap of not being able to tell the people this is what we are doing, correctly informing them by what you just said right now? It would have been just a conversation which would have ironed out a lot of things. Now, why is not that happening? Because are you all hoping that you all will go out of power three, three years down the line or is that, is that the plan? What, what exactly is the thinking behind the government, the president, everyone? No, I think uh, uh, I admit we have the same problem the previous government had. There's a huge communication issue. Uh, I mean, you know that I came to parliament only uh, one and a half years ago, first time to the parliament. And get, by coming into the political system, I see this communication gaps everywhere. It is a system. Whatever the party, uh, very little discussion when you take a decision to uh, communicate to everybody, uh, get everybody's views, at least even if you don't take everybody's views, educate them to go and talk to the public. Uh, so this system has to change and we have, uh, we have been voicing this opinion and we have been talking to our leaders, let's change that unless we, unless we change that. This communication issue will always be there. We are doing a lot of good things, you but they are misunderstood by the people. Exactly. You'll understand the lack of explanation from the side of the government leaves room for the lie to take precedent. Because that is what's happening on social media. Even today, I, 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 when I was coming uh, um, in, in the vehicle, uh, the, the person who was driving, he, he told me that there's a new passport which is issued uh, for the port city, which I knew it was a flat out lie but then this is happening so why isn't the government taking more steps to uh, address that i think uh, most of these uh, concerns that you are mentioning right now are coming from social media social media is not something that you can control it creates stories create gossips and uh, unfortunately in our education system people are not trained to look at something um, analytically they just yeah accept whatever they hear, I mean, that is our education system. We, are, we, are, we, we were taught to cram and pass exams, no? In other countries, it is not like that. You go for a, you, you study a subject, you study both aspects, all aspects, and then come to a conclusion. In our system, it is not so. So this problem is there in the society, and some people are misusing that. They are feeding wrong information intentionally, knowing that people are gullible and they will bite. 